Hello everyone and welcome back to this new tutorial. In our previous tutorial, we had seen how to publish to an MQTT topic using our ESP32 board. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to subscribe to an MQTT topic and we will use the message or the information received on the MQTT topic to turn on and off the LED on our ESP32 board. Today, I am going to use this custom made ESP32 board which is made by me. But you can use any of your custom or any other official ESP32 boards available out there. So here, let's take a look at the code we will need to subscribe to an MQTT topic using ESP32. So in the code on the top, we include the libraries we require. So the Wi-Fi.h to connect to the internet and the PubSub Client.h to publish or subscribe to the MQTT topics. Next, we define the SSID and password of our Wi-Fi as a constant character variables. And these you need to replace with your Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password. Next, we define the MQTT server IP address and the MQTT port. So in the previous tutorial in this series, we had installed the MQTT client on our computer. So basically here, I am going to pass the IP address of my computer on which the MQTT is running and the port we had set to 1883. Next, we create a Wi-Fi client to connect to Wi-Fi and from the Wi-Fi client, we create the MQTT client to connect to MQTT and publish or subscribe. Next, we define the global variables for the LED pin, which is 13 for my board. You can set this to any uh, pin number according to your board or where your onboard LED is connected. Next, we define the current LED state variable to store the current state of our LED, whether it is on or off. Next, we have the function to connect to the Wi-Fi. I have explained this function in detail in the previous tutorial. You can watch my previous tutorial if needed. Next, we have a callback function which will get triggered every time a message is published on any MQTT topic. So this function is of type void because it does not return anything. The name is MQTT callback. The inputs to this function is the pointer to the topic name then the pointer to the payload or the message received and the variable to store the length of the message received. So in this function, we define a string variable to store the message we receive. The incoming message is a bytes array or characters array. We need to convert it to string. So we run a for loop. This for loop have a length or this for loop will run till the i is less than the length of the message. And in the loop, we read each character and add it into the incoming message string. So once the string is built, we remove the spaces or the end line characters at the end of the string using the trim method. Then we have the if else loop to check what we received. So here we do if the string received is LED state, then we go to in this if structure. Again, we check if the incoming message is on and the current LED state is not on, then only we will turn on the LED. And on the serial monitor, we will print that LED turned on and we will set the current LED state to on. Else, if the incoming message is off and the current LED state is off, we will set the pin to low and on the serial monitor, we will print that the LED turned off and we will set the current LED state variable to off. And again here, what happens is if you receive the message as off and your LED is off, it will not do anything. Next, we have the function definition to reconnect to MQTT if the connection with the MQTT breaks. So I have already explained this uh, function in our previous tutorial. So you can check that. Now here we go to the setup. We begin the serial communication. We stop 400 millisecond for the stability. Then we define the pin mode for the pin number of our LED to output and we set it to low by default. Next, we run the connect to Wi-Fi function to connect to the Wi-Fi. 
Then we set the MQTT server IP address and the port. Basically, we begin the MQTT broker. Next, we define the callback function, which will get called every time a message is published on any topic of the MQTT. So this function we have defined here. Next, we have the loop where we have a if loop, which will get run if the MQTT connection is broken and it will run the reconnect to MQTT function. And then we run the MQTT dot loop to process the MQTT messages and keep the MQTT client running. Now let's select our board. So I have connected my ESP32 board to my USB port using the USB cable. So I will go to tools. I will select the board as the ESP32 dev module. So if, if you have not installed the ESP32 boards in your Arduino IDE, please do that and select your board according to your ESP32 board model. And next we will select the port where our ESP32 board is connected. It will be different for your computer. Now I will click on upload button. So it will compile and upload the code. So here you can see the code is successfully uploaded to our ESP32 board. Now let's launch the serial monitor. So here you can see the Wi-Fi connection is established and we have connected to the MQTT client. Now let's arrange this serial monitor on the uh, one side of our monitor or screen. And let's launch the command prompt so that we can publish to the MQTT topic using the command prompt. Now, if you come to the callback function, here we have subscribed to the LED state topic. So in the command prompt, type the command mosquito underscore pub space dash h space localhost because my MQTT client is running on the same computer. If your MQTT broker is running on some different computer, you can add its IP address. Next, press dash T space LED state, which is our topic to which our ESP32 board has subscribed. Then dash M space the message which will be on in double quotes space dash Q to specify the quality of service and it should be one and then press enter. So as soon as we published to the topic, you can see the LED on our ESP32 board got turned on and here on the serial monitor, you can see it got printed like LED turned on. Now let's do the opposite. Let's change the message to off. Now, as soon as we publish the message, you can see the LED on our ESP32 board is turned off. Now, if you say in the same command like LED off, you can see nothing happened, nothing printed on the serial monitor because we have written the conditions accordingly. So let's check it rapidly by sending the commands to on and off. So as you can see, as we publish on the MQTT topic, the board promptly response to the received message. So this is how it works. In our next tutorial, we will explore the more details about the MQTT and the ESP32. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please hit the like button if you like my video and please subscribe to my channel if you find my videos helpful. Thank you so much.